It is home day, and we are starting with exterior transformations and where to draw inspiration from, be it travel, your neighborhood, or just the beauty of nature. Sharon Greck recently visited the quaint town of Southampton, Ontario, to show us a charming home that was inspired by its proximity to the beach. Let's check it out. There are so many beautiful beach towns across Canada, all with their own unique vibe, but there is something about the landscape, the main street architecture, the quaint cottages and the colours that is so memorable and inspiring. This colourful little home in Southampton, Ontario is such a gem. Now, it's a new build, but it has such a heritage character to it. I just love it. The homeowner modeled it after the Regency Cottage style, which is really has a lot of history in the area and across Ontario, so it's so fitting. But I really love that she added her own personal style with this fresh color palette that's inspired by the area and also her beautiful English garden. Nothing says cottage style more than wood, board, and batten. And I love that they use Benjamin Moore's blue steel in a solid stain, so it's nice and matte, and you still get that beautiful texture. And then they use dune white, which is one of my favorite whites on all the trim. The front door is always a feature on every home, but in this symmetrical style, the front door has even more prominence. So this is the perfect place to have more personality with blackberry wine, a rich, sophisticated purple that also has a playful side. Now, the color story continues on the other side of the house. The homeowner runs her floral studio and workshop back here in this adorable little cabin. I love how it really mimics the aesthetic of the main house, but it has a bit more of a casual vibe with the clapboard siding, and it's been stained in historical color Southfield Green. That casual vibe continues at the front of the workshop with the natural cedar shakes, and then the trim is more of a creamy white called Ocean Beach. Now what I really love back here is the front door. This is Douglas Fern, which is so appropriate for her brand and for the entire color palette, but really the best thing is her commute to work, don't you think? <laughs> That's what we all want, Sharon. I'm <laughs> loving those beachy vibes. And you're going to show us how we can bring some of the beach, that beach color palette, into our own ho homes and our own exteriors, right? Yes, absolutely, Trace. And you know what? It's all, it all starts with Mother Nature. Yes. She designs the best color schemes, and I think we're all innately drawn to them, even if we don't think about it. Yes. And I think, you know, color is so important, and it's all about nature. Now, I have to tell you a little story. When we were shooting that, there was a storm coming in, and we uh -huh. managed to escape it. Yes. But, <laughs> but when we were done, I had to run and see the sunset, as you have to do when of you're in a course. beach town, right? And the, the storm was coming in. It was quite beautiful. I took a bunch of pictures of the storm clouds and the sunset and the grasses. Mm -hmm. And then I had a glass of wine on the porch. Oh, my gosh. This is a good day. <laughs> and then in the morning, yeah. I looked at those photos and I thought, oh, my goodness, that looks like Carolyn's house, like it yes. looked like the house. Those were the colors. And it really made me think, we talk about Mother Nature inspiring all the time, yeah. but it really made me, so we kind of validated how important color is and how certain combinations just really resonate with us. And it's our memories, it's, and it's Mother Nature. Mother Nature always gets it right. And so when I think when we try and replicate what we've seen out in nature, it's always gonna look right. Yes. It's never gonna be wrong if yes. you follow Mother Nature. And by the way, your photography skills, Incredible! You can see the artist in you and your photographer. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. And your photography. Very good. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the gorgeous colors uh, and the palette that we're seeing on this set right now because we you had some fun here and it's I all did. working. I did. I really wanted to bring that joy of color, whether it's my own little house in the city, but I yes. wanted to bring a sense of the lake and that breath of fresh air that you get with the greens and blues. Mm -hmm. So I think there's lots of variations of yeah. greens and blues and they're all wonderful, but I went with um, Guilford green. So it's a little nice. bit more muted, but it still has a nice freshness to it, that yellow green. Yeah. So I did that for my cladding on, the, on my pretend cottage. And mm. then for the trim, I wanted the green to stand out, but the trim is quite nice. So I wanted it to stand out too, but not a stark white. Yeah. I think if you're going for that beachy vibe, you want something that's a little bit more sort of sun-baked or bleached. So this is French canvas, so it's mm. got a little bit more toning. I haven't heard about this white this a lot. This is a new one. I haven't used this one okay. much. Okay, <laughs> there you go. It's very good in this space. Really, really nice. And then it allows the door to pop. And this is yeah. Waterbury green, so it's more of a it's blue beautiful. green. So again, I really played with that analogous color palette. And I even brought that into your obligatory Muskoka chair, which you must, must have, have, right? <laughs> so this, I used a semi-transparent stain in blue note. And again, it kind of has that beachy feel because it's more, it looks like it's been sitting out there for a long time. Yes. Um, and again, if you're not changing the exterior of your house, you can always 
bring the beachy feel in with the textures. A little bit of natural wood, like the pine of the window box. Yeah. Got to have some rattan or some wicker. And of course, an outdoor area rug that's going to bring it all together. All of the colors and the textures and the pattern. All of it lightens it up, uh, makes it easy breezy. I love the idea of going with colors that are sort of almost in the same color family, exactly, right? Exactly, Trace. They're on the same side of the color wheel, yeah. so they just sort of feel pleasing and vibrant, but not too crazy. Yeah, they make you feel very calm oh. and lovely. So we know blues and greens will give that earthy vibe, but not all blues and greens scream <laughs> cottage aesthetic. So how do we know which shades are going to work and which are just going to be, no. Okay, Don't really good it. point, Tracy. And I think that when we're thinking beachy and cottagey, we might feel more comfortable going into some of the higher chroma colors right. in the palette, colors that I don't tend to use all the time. But it really is all about balance, and you do have to be careful because the intensity of the color is more important, really, than the hue. Yeah. So um, I'm going to show you an example. So I use Guilford Green. Mm -hmm. This is Wales Green, which is a nice color. It's, it's a nice accent color. But yep. you can see how when I put that on this entire cottage, it's going to scream a little bit. Like, yeah. it's going to be more like the yellow highlighter on the street. Totally. <laughs> yes, it's reading neon. Right. So you have to think about that intensity and how important mm. that is and get a feel for it before you put it in your house. And all of those blues and greens, you might want to look more to some of the, the historical color palettes, what yes. I like because of the intensity of all of those. I love the historical color palette for two reasons. Number one, it's going to be less overwhelming if you stick with one of the palettes altogether rather than all of the Benjamin Moore colors. Right? 3,500. That's too oh many. Oh my gosh, there's too <laughs> many. And two, it's like they're all tempered. They all yeah. sort of have like a, a bit of a gray base and it just brings everything down a little bit to a more palatable level for me yeah. anyways. Yeah. Right? Some people me are too. the neon. <laughs> I'm not the neon except for my clothes. Yes, exactly. Right? Okay, so let's take a look at how you can change a city house and give it a bit of a beachy cottage vibe. You've got great okay. tips on how we can achieve that. Well, it, it can be really hard to visualize. So I think what's really fun is trying to use some of Benjamin Moore's digital color visualizers. Yes. I like the one on the website because I, can, I can't look very, I can't see very well on my phone. <laughs> yeah. But you can use the mobile app as well. But yeah. it's a really great way to bring those blues and greens and get an idea. You can upload your own house and look at yes. how it's going to look before you buy lots of paint. So I took this typical gray and black house like in the suburbs in the city and then I wanted to bring the palette let's start with the blues I wanted to bring the blues onto the body of the house so I used Phillipsburg blue these are all nice. from the historical palette and then I used um, hail navy yeah. popular color on the shutter so it kind of works with the with the roof yeah. but then a hit of Fairmont green for the front wow. door so a little bit brighter but then again you can play around and go maybe I want to put the greens on the body of the house mm -hmm. and how is that going to look if they're lighter so there I use kind of bunk port green yes very <laughs> on Cape Cod very Cape yeah. Cod nice and then the shutters are blue echo so yeah. a little bit more bluey green and then Van Dusen blue is one of my Beautiful. favorites for the front door so again you kind of transform that suburban or even city house to the lakefront to yes. a beach town and you do that with color. Color is really the key. Color is the key. What's your favorite? Did you like two or three? Because I like three. I like three too. I like, <laughs> I like the yes. It's so nice. It's that fun. It is lighter and you wouldn't think to do that yes. with a dark house like that with the roof but it works and totally. you can try it out. Also that app that you can use is so cool because it's like when you get the ones where you can show different hair on your head. <laughs> exactly. Do that with your house <laughs> exactly. but with color. It's so good before you make the investment and exterior is a lot of square footage. It so, absolutely is. You don't want to get good. it right. Very public. <laughs> Sharon, thank you so much for that.